Welcome to this short video on Network On Demand and the OmniVista 2500 cloud application. The OmniVista Master, or OVM, is a centralized platform installed at the business partner's premises and is used for two main purposes. Firstly, it is a portal through which administrators can get a quick view of the status of the subscriptions and the status of all the customer's equipment. Secondly, it is used to define and configure the initial customer Omnibooster client installation and any subsequent modifications to a subscription setup. The home page of the OVM shows the status of the customer's connectivity, the business store connectivity, a global inventory status summary and a widget per subscription showing connectivity status along with some other information. There are different inventory views, as you can see here, showing the equipment depending on the chosen menu. There is a widget showing all equipment and a widget per subscription. You have the option of showing the equipment by type, location, software version, and the last menu shows if the equipment is part of a NOD subscription or not. An example of non-NOD equipment would be extra access points the customer may have already bought. Clicking on notifications gives a page showing a widget for all notifications from all sources and a widget per subscription. Clicking on the More link on the bottom right of the subscription widget will take the user directly to the notifications page on the Omnivista client for that subscription. Note that the colour of the band at the top of the page has turned to black. This is a visual indication of which OmniVista the user is looking at. Clicking the Alcatelusen Enterprise logo on the top left of the page will take the user back to the OVM homepage. Clicking on Customer Networks takes the user to an administration page where all subscription administration is done. When a subscription is waiting to be downloaded, it is here that the BP will download the subscription details from the business store. Selecting a customer network will open a details pane in the right to show more information. While having a subscription selected, clicking Managing ZTP Config will give access to the subscription's details where they can be modified. On the top right of the page is a button Make Bootable USB. Once the subscription's information has been completed, Passwords, firmware, software files for the different equipment, security certificates, SNMP details, etc. The administrator will export this information to a USB key which in turn is used at the customer site to install a customized version of OVC on the provided server appliance. Changes to the customer subscription information can be pushed to the OVC over the network. There are buttons to restart the OVC and open a console window to the OVC. Clicking on Users and Groups opens a page where we add new users to the OVM. Users can be created with read-only or read-write permissions, but without account creation, and we can restrict which subscriptions can be managed by the user. Clicking Resource Manager takes the user to a set of administrative features to better manage the NOD infrastructure. From here we can back up and restore switch configurations, upgrade images and push new firmware to the OVC, get reports of the inventory of different subscriptions, push auto configuration scripts, switch file set administration, and some settings for the backup retention policy. Connecting to a customer OVC can be done via the menu next to Master Dashboard. The OmniVista Cloud Client is essentially an OmniVista 2500 used to administer the customer's network. It is fully HTML5 and no longer uses Java. As with any OV2500, we can discover elements, manage them, get overviews of the topology, with overlay options to see deeper into a virtual chassis. 
This concludes the introduction to OmniVista Master for Network On Demand. Thanks for watching.